All right, so today I woke up, my legs were feeling a little tired, so I pushed my workout to the end of the day rather than as soon as I woke up. But just to bring clarity so it doesn't seem like I'm trying to trick anybody or make y'all fall for anything, I have been doing martial arts for maybe two and a half years now. I started where I thought kicking was most important because it would develop my footwork, and I used to do it outside under a big tree. And I found a lot of success in that, but I realized there was a lot of fundamental things I was lacking. So I did end up getting an uppercut bag, and I committed myself to a year of learning boxing where I would strictly teach myself, but only off philosophies I felt were believable or I could trust. So that's exactly what I did. And now this is day 370. And overall, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm learning how to punch. I'm learning how to move my body. I'm strengthening everything. I'm also building coordination because now I do feel and believe that footwork is first. And then after footwork is coordination. And I guess at the moment, I don't really have enough information to explain or describe it to you. But in this life, you do have to figure out who you trust and who you believe and then operate off of that. I've been really putting my time and energy into really deeply understanding all of this. And there are a lot of martial artists and boxers that all started pages where they spread the information that they learn. So really, you don't even need a coach nowadays. You just need discipline and good work ethic. If you stick to the right philosophies, you work hard, you do it so much that it becomes subconscious. And then when all of these things do become subconscious actions, you can put them in the background and then you have open consciousness to kind of feel out your opponent, see who he is, see what he likes to do, pick up on tendencies. My goal is to really make all this subconscious actions. But my main thing is I do want to do them all properly. I want to have them all flow together. That way I can dance through the rhythm. And I'll just give a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. People like Tiafima Lopez, Nassim, Muhammad Ali. And they have a new dude going viral. His name is Ben Whitaker. But all these people are able to dance on rhythm while boxing because they deeply understand the data points and they have flow between all of them. When you build your moves in this way, this is what you end up with. My goal is to really deeply understand this, be able to dance on rhythm while still being effective because that in it of itself is mastering martial arts. It does take time. I'm not in a rush. I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm growing my knowledge daily. I work hard. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I do still make mistakes. But also, it leaves me with this one quote. I think it might have been a J. Cole song. But he said, if they don't know your dreams, then they can't shoot them down. So it really does come down to protecting your energy. If you really do have a goal, you got to stick to it, bro. Don't let people deter you. Don't let people tell you you can't do certain things. Because there has been a lot of times where I could have just stopped doing this because certain people said certain things. But there comes a time where you have to ask yourself, do you really even care what they're telling you? And do they even understand what you're doing? Because if they don't even understand what you're doing and you're taking their opinion as something that's highly effective, you're always going to be losing. And I don't know too many people that are cool with being losers. So really choose who you believe and put faith in. And when you find those people, keep them close. And it does always make the most sense to trust people who are in positions that you want to be in yourself. And that'll help you kind of narrow down the pool of people. And even me, I don't know where this journey will end up, but I do know I want to work hard at it. And eventually I might put myself in a position where I have to make certain decisions and I'll come down to what I really feel is best for me, my home, my village, my people. I always told myself I was fortunate to not learn this sport young because I would have wanted to do it for real. But I learned it as a 25, 26 year old man who can deeply understand all these aspects now and really figure out how he wants to go about them. I'm just being as smart as I possibly can, trying to stay motivated, learning daily. And I hope y'all are too. But that is it for this one. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.